The Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today's Gospel from Luke chapter 7, and honestly, this is a very emotional Gospel. Luke chapter 7, even the title of the Gospel, it's called the Gospel of the Sinful Woman. Can you imagine okay, that the title is just only the Sinful Woman? And in this Gospel, actually, we meet two, two, two characters. We meet a Pharisee, a Pharisee that you know the law very well. He knew the commandment very well. He studied the law. Yet on the other hand, we need a woman, she is sinful. The title of her is just a sinful woman. She has no name. Her name is sinful woman. And it's amazing in this gospel, actually, we see something very interesting. The Pharisees invite Jesus in his house. And this woman actually forced her way into his house. Because no way out that the Pharisee will invite this woman to his house. The Pharisee is a self-righteous person. He will not even look at this woman. And we saw that during the gospel how he was looking down to this woman here. But this woman was different. Most likely she forced her way in. And in this gospel we meet two disputeful characters. We need the Pharisees and we need the sinful woman. And in the end of the story actually as we heard. How this woman became justified before God. And how this man here even he went to his own house. And he invited him personally, yet did not, find, did not actually benefit from him. And this woman actually, after the right Jesus, she started actually with the way she, and I want to focus today on one thing only, her beautiful repentance. <clears throat> in our church, we have a beautiful icon of the sinful woman here in the back here. Even when you look at the icon, you see something very interesting. You see the tears coming out of her ears. And this is, let me talk to you about the action of this woman here, how she's a good example to all of us, example of repentance. Especially, we can talk about repentance all the time. Actually, on Friday, I was invited by the 10th grader to give a talk, and the servant, Ali Abuna, by the way, the theme of this year is to talk about repentance. I told how many times are you going to talk about repentance? Yeah, and give me another different topic. Finally, look, whatever he choose. Then when I went home, I started thinking about it. I said, you know what? Actually, we should talk about repentance every day because you and I, when we go to heaven and we go through the tunnel and we get into the paradise, you find a small door. On the door written on it, you want to get in? It's called the door of repentance. And the repentance is our life, daily life. For this woman, this really simple action, which I want to focus on it. I call it the action of repentance. Number one, when she walked in, she actually started washing his feet by his tears and wiped them with her hair. This is just in tears is an action of repentance. Know that symbol of tears are very many. It could be tears of joy. Sometimes when you are very happy and joyful, you can cry. But this woman, actually, the tears here means of regret. And that's a very beautiful symbol of real repentance. Repentance is not just only feeling sorrow. But repentance is a person that who regret. When you say to yourself, okay, and you say, you know what? I regret what happened. I regret what happened. For this woman, actually, tears of regret. Exactly like Saint Simon Peter. After he denied our Lord and Jesus Christ, the Bible mentions said he went out and he cried bitterly. He started crying, crying. How beautiful the tears of repentance. The tears of repentance are very valuable before God. I read a beautiful story, actually, about an email. Somebody once said to him one time, he said, our God was gathered together to ask the angel, all the angels, asking them, Give me the most precious thing here on earth. For somebody came to tell him, I have a beautiful nurse here. She went to Africa. She served with those who are in AIDS. And she died with AIDS. And that's beautiful. It's precious. But not the most precious thing. Somebody actually showed him about really how a father really gives his something for some children and die for children. And look, good. Until he yeah, started telling different stories. Until somebody, one of the angels coming with a small jar. Has a couple of tears in it. A couple of waters in it. Fellow, what is it? And those are the tears of repentance. For our Lord God said, This is the most precious thing in my eyes. But this woman actually submit tears of repentance. Also, tears of, of desperation. Sometimes when you are crying, you are desperate. The child, sometimes when his father or mother leave him, I see that in the school in San Marco when the kids drop off, some of the kids are crying. Desperate. Do you need mom and daddy back? For this woman actually was so desperate. She needs the Lord back to her. She needs to come back to it. Second action, actually, and also the tears of shame. The tears of shame. 
Second action, this woman here did actually, she started actually wiping his, uh, kissing his feet. Kiss, a kiss here means basically one thing. A kiss is a symbol of love. For this woman actually was showing love and longing for God. I'm longing for you, Lord. I'm a sinful woman. That's my name. I have no name. I'm a sinful woman. But you know what? I long for you. I want you. You are the only one can save me. You are the one can guide me. For we see also the second action of this woman here. Action of love. Action of love. And that's a beautiful meaning of repentance. Repentance is an action to come back to God. This woman telling us repentance is an action of, a, of love. How beautiful this woman here. The third action actually she did this woman here. She started anointing his feet with, his, a, with a fragrant oil. Most likely oil, fragrant oil during this time we heard in a different gospel was very expensive. For she's offering God the best that she can. She's giving him the best that she can. Even so, in one time, one of the gospel mentioned fragrant oil at that time worth about 300 denarii, which the average income for the, at that time was the denarii per day. For basically 300 days, where you take out that, the, holy, the weekend, it's almost, can you imagine kida, buying something worth one year uh, salary? For this woman actually showing an action of also giving. And we see in this woman here how this reaction by her, number one action of repentance, action of love, and the most important thing, action of giving. And we see something, I'm just gonna make a simple comparison between this woman here. This woman and the Pharisees are totally different. This woman actually in her repentance, she was focusing on herself. Sadly enough, the Pharisee was focusing on others. Even so, he's in the front, followed by Jesus Christ. This woman was focusing to blaming herself, but the Pharisee was focusing on just blaming others. This woman focusing on one thing only, judging herself. And the Pharisee sadly was judging others. Not only he judged others, but only he judged our Lord God, Jesus Christ. He said, if, this, if he knows, if he's really God, he will know who this woman is. And not only judging the woman, but also judging our Lord. And that's a good example to us, repentance, to focus on yourself. Focus not to judge others, but focus on yourself and not to blame others. A beautiful, beautiful read. I feel this gospel here is a good gospel for us to enlighten our heart that how the beautiful meaning of repentance. And repentance actually in our characteristic or understanding of repentance as a, as a Coptic Christian, Orthodox Christian, it's three important characteristics of Christian. Number one, they will call it daily repentance. Our repentance is something daily. Number two, the second characteristic of our repentance is one thing only also a consistent we are consistent in pray, uh, repentance. And the most important thing actually about repentance is one thing, to be fruitful repentance. And we see, we see that in the story of Zacchaeus. For this woman today given us a good example of repentance. Repentance for her is an action of repentance, action of love. Repentance is action of giving. She's given when you come and you pour yourself and you sit with your father of confession, you come and actually uh, to pour yourself. I used to have a beautiful icon in my office. Somebody gave it to me actually about somebody uh, coming to repent and when the person has repented, he's kneeling down and you see the tears coming out of his eyes actually before Abuna. It's a beautiful icon actually to show us. Repentance is an action. And all of us, we need to live a life of repentance. For this woman today, give us a good example to all of us. How to repent, how to repent, how to come back. I give you a beautiful quote by Saint Anthony the Great. He said, my brothers, seek repentance every day in your life. Seek repentance every day for life. And do not submit yourself to laziness. Sometimes the biggest struggle that we struggle in repentance is one thing only. Laziness and or bitum of our repentance. But I hope today a good example of this woman here. She washed his feet. She kissed, she kissed his, his feet. Not only that she anointed his, free, his feet. Which this three actually was a three action of repentance. Repentance calling every one of us. Even our Lord and Savior Christ. I was talking to the youth on Friday. He said, when you study the concept of the incarnation, there's a beautiful said, our Lord and Savior Christ said, I have did not come to call the righteous, but I have come to call the aid sinners. Which means one of the goals of, of the incarnation is one thing only, for us to repent and come back. May the Lord God grant us the heart of this beautiful woman here. How she was able to meet the Lord, yet the Pharisee inviting him in his house, but he benefited nothing. 
but this woman submit a beautiful meaning of repentance. Today, I have just been talking about the day of the angel about the woman's mistake. And she said the angel is hard to say. كان كان تخيل كده واحده ما لهاش اسم بس اسمها ايه المراه الخاطئه التايتل بتاعها كده وللاسف ان الفريسي دعاه السيد المسيح ودخل بيته ولكن في الاخر لما تقارن بين الاثنين المر المر الفريسي يعني طلع ان هو ايه يعني فعلا فاضي من جوه ولكن المراه الخاطئه قدمت توبه جميله واتكلمت على ثلاث حاجات المراه دي عملتهم لما دخلت بيقول لك ايه دخس القدمين بدموعها فبنقول هنا الدموع حلوه قوي دموع التوبه طبعا في دموع الفرح ولكن بنرى في هذه المره دموع التوبه والتوبه تعبر عن الندم تعبر عن الاحتياج تعبر عن الديسبيشن تعبر عن ان هي اي شيمفول ساكن اكشن المراه دي عملت يقول لك تقبل قدميه فبنشوف معنى اخر للتوبه النهارده التوبه معناها حب واحد كده بيحب ربنا قوي قوي فعايز يتوب ويرجع له قدمت كده توبه ايه توبه المح... تقبل قدميه تعبير عن تعبير عن الحب والاشتياق فهو بيضيف الواحد منا كده يقول لك انا عايز اتوب بس التوبه لسبب لانها عبر عن حب ربنا وقال له يو اي واز لوست انا كنت ايه كنت ايه كنت لوست والان ايه فايند وشفنا دي في الابن الضال لما رجع ابوه كان بيقبله كده معبرها ايه القبول قابلتك تعالى لي تاني يا ابني ثالث حاجه بتشوف المراه دي بيقول لك دهنت بالطيب ايه قدميه دهن الطيب هنا يعبر عن العطاء ودي مثل عبارة جميلة جدا للتوبة ان التوبة ايه؟ يبقى التوبة مش بس هو حب ولكن هو عطاء. بدأت اكيد ده راحت كده واشترت فيري اكسبنسيف كده طيب وبدأت ايه تحطه على رجليه وتدهنه بشعرها يعني فبتعبر عنه. فهذه المرة اكشل اظهرت حب ربنا قدمت توبة ربنا قدمت الطيب واهم شيء في القصة يا حبايبي قدمت نفسها لربنا. كده دخلت كده قدام الناس كلها مش مكسوفه المراه الخاطئه اسمها كده وبدات تقدم نفسها فده تعبير جميل للتوبه لينا التوبه ان الواحد ازاي فعلا ان الواحد يقدم توبه ازاي الواحد يظهر محبه في التوبه لربنا ازاي التوبه معنى اخر للعطاء والتوبه معنى اخر ان هو ايه الواحد ايه يقدم نفسه وكنت بعمل مقارنه بسيطه بين المراه دي والراجل الفريسي ده اللي هو عارف كل شيء وان المراه الخاطئه كانت مركزه على خطاياها للاسف الفريسي كان مركز على خطايا الاخرين. المراه الخطايا كانت بتركز على غلطاتها هي هو كان مركز على خطايا الأخر... الاخرين. المراه الخطايا بدات ما تقدرش تحكم على حاجه تحكم على نفسها بس وللاسف الفريسي بدا ايه يحكم عليها واكثر شيء عمله ان هو حكم على مين؟ حكم على السيد المسيح نفسه يعني. واتكلمنا على ثلاث حاجات في التوبه اساسيه مفهومنا احنا للتوبه كارثوذكس اول شيء بنسميها التوبه المستمره. مهم جدا الواحد يكون عنده التوبة المستمرة، ودايما بقول كده ببساطة لو تتعلم تقول تحليل باكر وتحليل النوم يبقى أنت عايش إيه التوبة المستمرة. نمبر تو التوبة الشاملة، الواحد لما يقعد مع نفسه كده دو نوت بيك تشوز، قدم توبة شاملة، وآخر شيء دايما التوبة المستمرة المثمرة، الواحد يكون عنده ثمار التوبة، يعني لو أنا عايز أتوب ومزعل حد الثمن الكبير لازم إيه؟ أروح أتصالح مع هذا الحد. لو انا بتوب عملت شيء غلط مع حد لازم اصلحه ودي التوبه اللي عمله كده زكى العشار قال له يا رب ايه اعطي نص اموال المساكين وقال لو كنت اخطيت ضد حد وعملت له غلط قدامه ارد عليه اربع اضعاف يعني التوبه جميله جدا دعوه لكل نفس النهارده المراه الخاطئه بتقول انا ما دعيتش المسيح في بيتي بس انا رحت عند بيت الراجل اللي دعاه لاني رايح اقدم توبه قال لكم عباره جميله قالها الانبا انطونيوس بيقول اطلب التوبه في كل لحظه اطلب التوبه في كل لحظه ولا تدعي نفسك للكسل لحظه واحده يا ريت كل واحد منا كده النهارده يقول له نفسي اقدم توبه زي ما بقول كده كلنا لما نروح السماء باذن الله هنلاقي واحنا داخلين باب صغير دخلنا جوه الباب ده مكتوب عليه من فوق ايه باب التوبه ربنا يدينا هذه التوبه اللي اعطاها المراه القطاع ويبارك فيكم ولهنا كل المجد والكرامه للبيت امين